So I'm the technical director for Vocal Point um, and the audio engineer as well. It's kind of a dual role there. Um, specifically, I make sure that their shows happen. And so I'll talk to the artistic director, McKay Crockett, and he'll be like, this is what we're doing. These are the songs that we're doing. This is the look I'm going for. Um, and it's my job to take his vision and make it happen. And so specifically, I'm working on like set designs right now for the coming year. Um, props, we're looking at different ways to do projections. Um, I make sure that in the show that our projections are happening, you know, we design the projections and all the videos that are going to happen with it. I make the sound systems work. You know, I, I take care of all their microphones during the show. I'll actually be mixing on the, on the soundboard and so that everyone's balanced, everyone sounds good. I take care of effects. Um, I do everything that you don't think about. You know, I, I know the problems that you don't even know that there are problems, you know. Um, it's definitely interesting because it's a behind the scenes job. And so nobody knows who I am. Nobody knows that I'm there. Um, and I like that. I don't like being out in the front. I don't like being known. Um, and it's definitely rewarding that way, not being at, you know, front stage because I know that, you know, the guys had a good show. I know that people were touched and it wouldn't happen if I didn't do my job. You know, if I, you know, they can go sing without mics and that's fun too. You know, it's a very different experience, but I'm able to help make this show what it is. Every show's stressful, really. <laughs> um, just because like people don't realize how much preparation has to go into a show. And so right now it's July and I'm already talking to all the different venues and the presenters that we're going to be doing shows for in August, September, October. Um, I have to work out all the details with them about when we can load in, where our dressing rooms are going to be, where we can load into, um, you know, where I can mix, where I can set up the soundboard, where the projectors are going to go, what kind of projection surfaces we have. So I have all this preparation and then I get to venues um, I get to the theater and things are different than what they said or, you know, there's more or less than what they said they had um, or things just don't work out right. Um, you know, we have a lot of technology and technology doesn't always work perfectly like we wish it would. Um, and so there's, you know, I'm, I'm rushed to get things back online, back, you know, talking to each other. Um, you know, and sometimes you go into venues and it just doesn't sound the way I want it to. That's most frustrating because it's not technical issues, it's not time constraints, it's, you know, just not how I like it to sound. And so, you know, I have to play and tweak it and, you know, sound checks. Um, everything is rushed, kind of. You know, we wish we had days to load in, like big touring, you know, like pentatonics. They, they take a few days to load into arenas. You know, we have four hours. Um, but the things that we do in four hours is definitely a miracle. You know, it's a blessing. Because, you know, God's hand is in vocal point as well. He wants us to, to share the spirit through music. I think the, the biggest principle that I've learned that's like an unwritten rule is that there are infinite ways to do one thing. There is no specific way to make something sound a certain way or to look a certain way. Um, our director can say, I want this to happen and I can think of 30 different ways to do that one thing. Um, it's when a technical team gets, you know, each person has a certain this is how I want to do it. This is how it needs to be done. That's when we'll start to clash. Um, just because, they're, you know, we need to be open. We need to be open to other people's ideas because their ideas work just as well as ours. And it could look just as good or even better. Um, that's like a, you know, applicable thing to life. You know, there's numerous ways to do everything that we do. So.